One of the things I love in the world of custom motorcycles, is the fact that inspiration, may come from any point of our time. Last month, I presented a project with a very interesting approach, in which the builder wanted to know, how a century old Indian scout would be, using today's technology. And from my perspective, today's project goes precisely in the opposite direction. The approach seems to be something like, how far can we go, on the creation of an old vintage motorcycle, but starting with a relatively modern machine. It sounds equally interesting. Doesn't it? And guess what? It is more than that. Welcome to Racer TV. Magnificent, glorious, splendid, breathtaking, spectacular, impressive, brilliant, majestic, superb. But maybe it's better to stop. Otherwise, I could go on for a long time. Why did I use so many adjectives? because I tried to find just one good adjective for this machine, and I discovered they were all perfect. This work of art, was built by Dirk Ula King, the owner of Kingston Custom, in Germany. Did you notice I used the expression work of art? Well, contrary to what I usually mean in my videos, this time, it's not figuratively, when I call this a work of art, I really mean it. Because it was commissioned, by the Hasmoto Museum, in Dallas. Probably the only motorcycle museum in the world, who dares to have the finest collection of custom motorcycles. The two machines you see on the side, are the main responsible for the existence of this project. But here's how everything started. Five years ago, Dirk created this equally amazing BMW. It was baptized, White Phantom. was such an impressive build, that some of the main BMW staffers told him, it would be impossible to improve the White Phantom's design. This sentence, probably worked as a spark on Dirk's head. Because one year later, he built this one. The Black Phantom. According to Dirk, he never intended to create a better version, of the White Phantom project. He just wanted to provide sort of a companion. In 
2019, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride in Dallas, took place at the Hasmoto Museum. And on that weekend, these two machines, were the museum's main attraction. Bobby has, and the museum's director Stacy Mayfield, asked Dirk if it was possible to build a third phantom, so that a trilogy would be created. And this is how the good ghost was born. It is interesting to see how things evolved from the White Phantom. We can clearly see the evolution process, in these three projects. So, the good ghost was built from a 1980 BMW R100 RS. And contrary to what you may think, the modifications list, is incredibly short. Because the frame's structure, is mostly factory original. Dirk only swapped out the shaft driven swing arm, for a single shock BMW monolever. And why did he do that? Because he needed space for the fuel tank, which was built to be located around the rear wheel. But to deliver gasoline inside the carburetors, he installed an external fuel pump. To keep the appearance of the engine as simple as possible, Dirk built two custom intake manifolds, hiding the carburetors inside the body panels. Speaking about that, as you see on these photographs, all the panels were hand-shaped from aluminium sheets. Curiously, all these body panels weigh just 21 kilograms. It may sound like a lot, but considering the factory parts that were removed, this BMW is now lighter than ever. 179 kilograms, about 40 kilograms less than the stock version. I know the weight factor is completely irrelevant to this type of project. After all, this is a motorcycle built for a museum. But even so, Dirk still hopes one day, he'll be able to ride it at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. But here is an interesting question. Have you noticed how much work is required to remove this rear panel? No. The problem is not the number of screws. The real problem, is having to remove the cylinders from the engine. But like I said, this is a motorcycle built for a museum. I know there are a lot of details on this fantastic BMW, I didn't mention. But I also think it's not even necessary. As the old saying goes, what you see, is what you get. But what do we really see on this beautiful motorcycle? Personally, I see a fantastic futuristic motorcycle, imagined by someone living in 1930. Everything on this project, could be built in the 30s. And we can prove that, comparing it with this concept presented by BMW in 1934. Here you can see Art Nouveau influence, just like on the three amazing projects created by Kingston Custom. I have to say, six years ago, I presented another project from this same builder. One of the things I most admire in his works, is the creativity on some details. They always carry a certain sense of humor. 
and on the Good Ghost Project. It is no exception. A compartment for a glass, and a bottle of wine? A brilliant solution. For those who live in the 1930s. But why did I choose this project for today's video? Because even though it's not a cafe racer, this is the kind of custom motorcycle, no one dares to be indifferent about. Besides that, you deserve to see a very special motorcycle, on a very special day. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And not as always, I hope to see you next year. But until then, I wish happy holidays, and a happy new year to all of you.